This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. I'm late to the party and it's nearly a decade, if you could believe it, that the Eventide H9 has been a thing. I tried it for the first time this week and it's kind of shocking to me how ahead of the game I think this was. Now in 2013 there was only, I think, one other company that made a Bluetooth pedal and that's the Zoom Magic Stomp BT. Now, I think for a pedal to truly be kind of uh, modern, modern, there might be a few aspects that you would need. I think one might be that kind of Bluetooth connectivity to get more out of the thing. Um, I know there are some pedals that do that, or at least kind of USB connectivity. So having a user interface that you could use on an iPhone, on, a, on an Android phone, on an iPad, something like that, I think can really unleash especially in more powerful things, quite a different user experience. Um, for sure, having, you know, this is the thing that's cool about neural DSP plugins, having user interfaces that look kind of like real life counterparts. I think it's a really better way, I think, to, to really dial in presets versus just having numerical stuff. I think the other thing that you might want on a, on a thing like this would be MIDI capability. Of course, it's got that. Other things that I think the, the truly more modern companies might be doing would be making native versions and Eventide have been doing that for a while. We saw Strymon this year for the first time jumping into the plug-in game with the Big Sky. For something that is a decade old, this really holds up incredibly well, I think, and I can't really think of anything that tops it for what it does. So what it can do is run an algorithm at a time, right? So a lot of the algorithms are kind of a mixture of things anyway so it sort of sounds maybe like it's not uh, doing a whole lot and I could understand if people said oh, I can only run one thing at a time well yes but you know not all algorithms are, are built equal they can be um, a combination of things they can be like a two reverb thing so I can run one reverb and another reverb and freeze that the dual verb can do that um, there's lots to it, uh, and I need to dig way further into what an H9 can do. I'm just borrowing this off of Jake. It's not quite the same as uh, some other more basic kind of effects stuff. It is kind of the, these algorithms, it doesn't make sense. Um, and equally, it's the sort of thing that you could run an instance of in your DAW if you really like the sounds of any of these. I think most of them are available in plugin form, which is really quite cool, and I think for producers and people that aren't necessarily just guitarists uh you know like having that big sky plugin from strymon i think that makes a huge difference in terms of workflow not having to run something through outboard gear and also being able to access the same algorithms that you're used to using you know that's why i dig helix native so much because you can actually just you know, stay within that ecosystem, even in other contexts. Not only does it have that Bluetooth thing, but the actual UI of that Bluetooth thing, I think looks as good as anything I've seen on the market. And I think some of the sounds in here, to me, sound as good as anything else on the market. So when I think of things like the Big Sky, the Strymon Big Sky, the Strymon Timeline, things that are classics, I think the Timeline and the Big Sky now kind of feel potentially starting to feel their age, if you get what I mean. Yes, they sound incredible, and yes, they've got all of the things, mostly, that you would need, 
but they don't have Bluetooth, got a weird name, but they do have an editor, but um, it's not quite as seamless as this Bluetooth editing. And there's only so far one kind of way that you can run Strymon within a DAW. I think Eventide really were ahead of the game with the H9. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Can you think of any other effects in this category that has aged so well? Because uh, to me, there's still things coming out today, which it's kind of, you know, they're only starting to do some of this Bluetooth connectivity in 2022, 2023. Uh, so it's really impressive that Eventide off the bat were able to innovate in that kind of way, I think. You can see the app is kind of futuristic little thing as well. Um, you know, like then you'd have all of the little algorithms and stuff that you can run. And there's quite a lot of them. You know, we've got them isolated by time factor. So that's delay stuff. Then mod factor. So that's obviously modulation stuff. Pitch factor. So things like crystals. And then once you go into them, you have quite a neat little, quite skeuomorphic thing. And I think that's a really impressive app, considering, again, this thing came out in 2013. It's now 2023 nearly, and we still aren't seeing, I don't think, better apps than this. Um, we've got all the settings in there as well. Um, so really ahead of its time, I think. So I've just found some... Presets that I thought sounded cool. Uh, so Andy Warhol was one of them. It's quite a well-designed piece of kit, although there's not a ton of, you know, stuff on here. You've first of all got these kind of three top-level um, controls, so you can control mix, rhythm and feedback here. And... But if you hold any of these buttons, you can then go into expert mode and then toggle through the whole thing. Uh, so, you know, turn up your resonance, turn down your resonance, turn up your reverb. Come back into preset mode. Some other really cool things, like this is one of the ones I was using the intro. Like there's tons of really cool stuff in here.
compressors, reverbs and tremolo. You know, there's loads and loads and loads of stuff in here. Obviously, um, I can't go through it all in a video, but I feel like this is the sort of thing that I want to explore more of because they're a really important company, I think. So, um, especially, I didn't realize how early to the market the Eventide H9 was and how much, you know, things like Bluetooth, sticking that in there, and for t 10 years, nearly, you know, these have been on professionals boards. I see these more than maybe any other multi-effect pedal. Um, an incredible piece of gear, I think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Cheers for stopping by.